Thank you very much. I'm joined now by Democratic Congressman Brad Sherman of California. Congressman, is, uh, thanks so much for joining us here in the CNN newsroom. Good to be with you. So should he stay or should he go? We need more information. I think Biden has been an outstanding president. I hope very much that he's our candidate. But we need to see him in an extended uh, interview or an, a, an extended press conference because he's going to face that test in the September debate. September he's going to have a full-scale press conference on Thursday after this NATO summit here in Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, he did an extended interview on MSNBC on Morning Joe this morning, a phone interview. What's wrong with that? Well, I'd like to see... 90 minutes or close to 90 minutes with follow-up questions and tough questions and not from the international press that will be focused on, on just one issue, but uh, focused on all the issues that Americans are concerned. Something relatively close to the debate that he's going to have on September 10th. What's your big concern, Congressman, about uh, the president? My big concern is he had a bad debate. Now, contrast that with Trump. He's led a bad life. But my big concern is he could have another bad debate and uh, we will slip further in the polls. But I think that he'll rise to the occasion. He's given himself some additional tests. I'd like to see him take as tough a test as he can so that the delegates can make the right decision. He did this phone interview on Morning Joe this morning, as you know, and he explained why he's still in the race. Listen to this excerpt. The American public is not going to move away from me as an average voter. And again, I'm here for two reasons, pal. One, to rebuild the economy for hardworking middle class people, give everybody a shot. Just a straight shot. Everybody gets a fair chance, number one. Number two, remember all this talk about how I don't have the black support? Come on, give me a break. Come with me. Watch. Watch. So do interviews like these, this is a phone interview he did on MSNBC on Morning Joe, do they uh, give you greater confidence in his capability? They are important steps forward, uh, but uh, the, the, the tougher test he can give himself, the more confidence we can have. Ultimately, the delegates need to make the decision. And these are pro-Biden delegates. These are grassroots people pledged to Biden. They're not going to abandon him uh, if, uh, if, 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 if it's even close. And I think that if the... Uh, convention was meeting today, we'd be nominating Joe Biden. And you would support that? I would, I would very much, I'm very glad that we have a month to get more information. But if I had to make a decision right now, uh, I, that's a decision I'd make. But I, uh, I, I really want, uh, it, I want to test it. But Congress, is it too late right now for the Democrats to make a change in their leader going into the convention and a general election? Well, if you've been in this for a long time, it used to be that you wait to the convention to see who's going to be nominated. You often have it very close at the convention. Sometimes uh, you go into multiple ballots if you go back in our history. So the idea of, the, uh, of a party picking its uh, uh, candidate at a convention is, is not new. It's, 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 uh, it's uh, probably the, the more common way we've done things over history. We've got a good bench. We've got a president who's done an outstanding job for three years. The voters voted for the president they saw for the first three years. Uh, we have to assure ourselves that it's uh, different from the president we saw for those 90 minutes in the debate. This divide that's developing among your fellow Democrats right now, whether he should drop out of the race or stay into the race, is it going to have an effect in weakening the whole party going into November? I don't think so. We're all absolutely committed to beat uh, Trump. And I think uh, the middle point is, is the one I'm expressing here that we want more information to make the decision. We're rooting for Joe Biden. And the closer the test is to what he'll face on September 10th, the more confident we can be. I know you got to run, but what was your biggest concern, what, what you saw at the debate with Trump? Uh, I, 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 I can't pick one particular moment, but my biggest concern is that Trump will pick several moments and that'll be his campaign commercial. But so, Trump is very vulnerable. He's a convicted felon. Oh, yes. As you know, uh, he, he's not necessarily all that popular right now, but you're worried that Biden can't beat Trump. Is that what you're saying? Wolf, well, if it was up to me, you know, Biden would be ahead by 30 points. This has been a close race for a year. It's going to be a close race on Election Day. And uh, we need to, to put forward a strong candidate who can win. And, and yes, sometimes I have a hard time figuring out why this race is even close, because Trump uh, is, is not consistent with American democracy. But I have, to, I have to look at reality. The reality is Trump is a strong candidate for his party, and we've got to beat him. Congressman Brad Sherman of California, thanks very much for coming in.